When it comes to passport girls dating overseas, you know, we all know, you know, I've dated Latino women and I've interviewed a lot of women. When it comes to that cooking, man, you guys are, you guys take pride in that. So yeah. what, 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 are, what are some of the meals these men are going to get, you know, when they go overseas? Let's say they go to um, Ecuador. What are some of those meals looking like? So we have this plate called um, El Bolón. And it's it's actually it's actually one of my favorite dishes to make. I actually love cooking. As I grew up cooking with my mom, and at such a young age, I, I personally love to cook. I love to serve. Um, it's one of my things. But I know other women definitely probably don't feel the same way. Uh, but in Ecuador, there's a plate called the bolón, and it's made from plantains, similar to mofongo from the Dominican Republic. But it, bolón has um, it's, a, it's circular, and it's actually boiled first. The plantains are boiled. And then it's like, it's placed with like cheese and you put chicharron, which is por like pork. I don't know how to say chicharron in English. Um, but chicharron and then you make like the sauce and it's so delicious. It's in, this, it's in a ball and then they make two eggs and that's one breakfast with a smoothie. And another thing is it'd be rice, uh, rice and beans and chicken rice beans chicken it's very traditional I think that's throughout all Hispanic culture there's always rice and beans a like any shape way and form um, another thing is el yapingacho which is like this potato so it's potato with cheese and then it has like this peanut butter um, sauce on top and it comes with like a salad and it has like it has sausage and it has like steak um, there's yuca like you can both I think a lot of other countries use yuca as well. Um, similar to la bandeja paisa as well, there's plates like la bandeja paisa that's Colombian. We have um, we have our, our very similar dish. Um, ceviche is huge. It's very different from Peruvian ceviche. Um, so he's so he, so he gonna be eating good. He's gonna be eating good out there. Yeah, food. yeah, and that's he, definitely one thing. Good, very great meals. And in Hispanic cultures, you don't eat just three times a day. You eat like eight times in a day. Ooh. So you get like breakfast, and then after breakfast, like three hours later, there's like breakfast, then a snack, then there's like lunch, then there's almuerzo, then there's merienda, and in between that, there's always dessert. You know what? Um, so there's always like a lot of meals. That's. I feel like once you start talking about the food, you started glowing. Like that's something that you'd be happy to do for your man, and you was like other women wouldn't. But so you feel like that makes women happy to uh, serve their men the food? Yeah. So actually, personally, I love to cook for my ex-boyfriend. It was my favorite thing to do, and he loved my cooking. Like I would ask him many times, like, "What, what, what do you want to eat?" He's like, "I want. I'm craving Italian. I'm not Italian, but I like learn how to do everything." And I think it was like. I personally don't like eating out. Again, this is me personally. Um, so I really like to like serve, like just seeing him enjoy the meal. Like that was like very like great for me. Um, I think there was like once or twice that I didn't know how to make a meal and I really messed it up and he still loved it because I, he saw all the time and effort, put the effort put into in. it. Like you cook with love and effort and like it's very special for your partner. And that's actually one of the main reasons why like women in these countries enjoy cooking for their like for their spouses, for their partners, for the fiancés, for their husbands, you know?